Look at this graphical representation prepared by the McKinsey Global Institute. It shows how global net worth has increased between 2000 and 2020. And yes, you got it right. We're talking about how China has overtaken the United States in terms of wealth generation. So what made China so rich? Was it the exports powered by China or the big tech firms like Alibaba and Tencent that turned out to be some of the world's largest internet giants? No, it is the humongous Chinese real estate market that has generated unimaginable amounts of wealth in the communist nation. The two photographs taken from Shanghai show how the Chinese real estate market has picked up. The first picture taken in 1990 shows a few average buildings with lots of open spaces, whereas the one taken in 2010 shows several tall skyscrapers. Chinese wealth generation is therefore completely based on real estate. Hi and welcome, this is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Atul Mishra and in this video I will explain how China could lose most of its wealth due to its overstretched property market. Let's begin. We at TFI Global have been saying this for quite some time now. China has got rich but it is hardly as rich as it claims to be. The latest Bloomberg report has revealed how much of Chinese wealth could get evaporated due to artificially high real estate prices. Chinese wealth has skyrocketed over the past two decades, while net worth worldwide rose to $514 trillion in 2020 from $156 trillion in 2000. China is the main power driving this rise in global wealth and has accounted for almost one third of the increase. According to a report by the research arm of consultants McKinsey and Company, which examines the national balance sheets of 10 countries representing over 60% of the global wealth, Chinese wealth went up to $120 trillion from a mere $7 trillion 20 years ago. In 2001, China joined the World Trade Organization, which led to a spectacular increase in Chinese economic growth. Effectively, China has overtaken the United States of America in terms of net wealth and has grabbed the top spot in the world. Yet in both the US and China, the distribution of wealth remains highly unequal. The richest 10% of the households in the two biggest world economies hold two-thirds of the total wealth and their share is increasing even further. The Chinese ascent has however been powered by widespread speculation in its property market and surging real estate prices, backed by heavy debt provided by Chinese financial institutions for unsustainable projects. On the other hand, the United States of America has not witnessed such spectacular growth in its real estate market. Lukewarm increases in real estate prices in the US saw its net worth double over the last 20 years to $90 trillion. In fact, the steep rise in global wealth itself is attributed to real estate development. As per McKinsey, 68% of global net worth is stored in real estate. The balance wealth is stored in other sectors like machinery and equipment and intangibles like intellectual property and patents. As per McKinsey, the dramatic growth in net worth over the past 20 years has outpaced the steep rise in global gross domestic product or the GDP. The mismatch is being attributed to ballooning property prices encouraged incessantly by declining interest rates. As a result, asset prices are around 50% higher than their long run average relative to income. This means that the ongoing wealth boom isn't really sustainable in character. Let us tell you what it means. Your net worth is estimated in terms of the liquid and fixed assets that you own. Now, if most of your wealth is stored in property assets, then any knee-jerk reactions in the real estate market could evaporate most of your wealth. This is exactly what is bound to happen in China's case too. The ballooning real estate prices, low interest rates and high debt in the global markets are bound to reinvent the horrors of the 2008 global financial crisis. A housing price crash in 2008 and the collapse of Lehman Brothers in the United States had led to a contagion effect destroying the American and global financial markets. This time around, China is going through a similar turmoil. The China Evergrande Group was, of course, the first one to go down. The Chinese real estate giant is suffering under more than $300 billion in debt and Evergrande's downfall has led to a broad crisis in the Chinese real estate market with many other firms like Modern Land China, Fantasia Holdings, Cynic Holdings and China Properties too defaulting on debt repayments. 
The Chinese real estate turmoil means that the Chinese financial markets that were already ridden with unsustainable debt are facing even more pressure because the overstretched real estate sector is further straining leading private firms, state-owned enterprises and regional banks. From a Chinese perspective, the real estate sector becomes a critical driver of economic growth and prosperity. The communist nation has traditionally relied on the real estate market for its economic development, fueling wealth generation and improving investor sentiment. Even when the Chinese economy was confronted with sluggish growth or the stock market stumbled, Beijing relied on real estate development to stimulate growth. However, the Chinese real estate sector is now well past its saturation levels. The housing bubble of China is set to burst as 65 million apartments in the country are empty, which is also why a property giant like Evergrande Group has landed in a precarious situation. Ultimately, most of the Chinese wealth stored in real estate is bound to get eroded. We're actually talking about the impoverishment of the world's second largest economy as Beijing seems set to lose a lion's share of its wealth amidst the ongoing turmoil.